Welcome to Manny's TV Talk, where we will talk about all of our favorite reality TV shows and news surrounding them. Grab a snack, a drink, and get comfortable because this starts now. Hello everybody and welcome back to the, we're going to be talking about the final part of the Real Housewives of Miami season 6 reunion. Let's get right into it. Me, no, and this group. No. I feel like though you treat me this group, but I don't me. belong Sample. here. You're going to respect me. You're going to respect okay. me. And you belong here, by the way. I do. No I do. I want that. I want that. I want that. All right, you guys, it was part three of the Real Housewives of Miami season six reunion. The conclusion, it's been a hell of a reunion. So we start with Gertie saying to Larsa that in the time of her going through her hardest moment, Larsa made it even harder. Larsa says, I didn't make it harder for you, my love. But I was just sitting there like, how can Larsa tell someone what hurt them or not? And that's exactly what Gertie asks. She says, how are you going to tell me how I feel? I have the right to tell you that you hurt me. Larsa says, you hurt me too. You called me fake. Gertie says, well, physically, you are. Do you want me to put up a before and after picture? So true, because Larsa's before and after pictures are something else, like something out of a nightmare. And Andy asks Lisa about this as well, what she thinks about the situation. And Lisa says, well, I know I told Larsa that she shouldn't have shared the news about Gertie's diagnosis, but she was actually very upset and she was crying. And Gertie's just sitting there like, oh, poor Larsa, she was crying. So Lisa and Larsa kind of blow up and Larsa starts calling Gertie a mean girl. Gertie says to Lisa, calm down mascot stay down <laughs> all the frustration you have take it out on lenny not on us boom gertie does mention how annoying lisa was being at that finale party as well the kind of defending larsa so alexia jumps in and her tone is very calm she asks larsa do you think it would have been a good idea for you to have a sit down with gertie to talk about this i mean it's been three months larsa says stay out of it alexia also mark is jordan what an embarrassment to his father. He was in that dressing room watching this, talking about, I wish I could be in that couch right now to shut up Alexia. What the hell? They also talk about the time that Gertie had told Lisa that it was actually a test to see if Larsa would tell the news. So Larsa then called Nicole and asked if this was even real. So, But Gertie just puts it to rest and in between tears she says that she would have never weaponized the hardest thing that she's going through. So that's not even a question. But to end this issue, Gertie says that she does appreciate Larsa's apology but this is going to be, uh, this is going to be left to show and tell. So... We'll see what happens. Then we switch over to Kiki. Good news, she's dating someone and she's very happy. She also talks about her traumatic childhood. When her father moved to America from Haiti, he started a new life with a woman without telling Kiki's mom. So Kiki's mom still thinks they're together, but this man's over here in America with a whole other woman and a whole other family that they're starting. So that all became a big mess. Kiki's dad and stepmom threw her out the house when she was a teenager. But thankfully, since 2012, her mom has been here in America now. Then they talk about a moment that was so sad when Kiki had organized that party after swim week for all of them, and they all bailed on her. As soon as Andy brought this up. All of them are starting to make excuses as as to why they couldn't stay. But y'all, this broke my heart. Kiki starts to say that she was really excited for this because she generally doesn't throw many parties because she has a two-bedroom apartment. Her daughter literally sleeps with her and she starts bawling her eyes out. The way she was crying, I could see so much sadness in those tears. Like, wow, Kiki is definitely a queen. She has definitely 100% been the biggest change of opinion that i've had this season because personally i didn't really care for her last season because she was like yeah she was friends with larsa and she was just there but this season my perception of her has completely changed and i hope that they can make her a full time because i want to see more of her story it was nice that lisa at the end of that said well let's try to organize something for all of our kids to be together you know on their birthdays or something okay and then they move on the segment they watch is them wasting money <laughs> i love miami because it actually gives luxury buying boats buying houses buying penthouses that is wealth unlike potomac miami is very expensive and nicole's house is not ready yet but she says that they're hoping to move there by april they are still trying to buy a new boat lisa says why don't you put it in jody's backyard they talk about larsa who gives her teenage daughter a allowance of 200 of two thousand five hundred dollars a month she's 15 listen i actually don't think that two thousand five hundred dollars a month is that crazy i think that's actually pretty 
normal, especially because the girl lives in LA and kids like to spend a lot of money and her parents are kind of famous. So, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Lisa, um, and Adriana say that Larsa is a great mom. Then Larsa says, I've been getting a beating all this season. And Gertie says, yeah, and you deserved it. So then they start arguing again. But then they take a little break. They have taken so many breaks this reunion. I don't know if maybe they take breaks like this in all the reunions that they do in general. But they just kept showing all of them. A little quick segment when they come back. Andy asks the ladies if they think that their dollars is too much for a jar of jelly. And they're like, uh, yeah. They bring up Julia's opera performance, and Andy says that personally, her performance was one of the best things that he's ever seen in Housewives. He loved that she was singing, that she was doing it to Martina, that Adriana was in the piano. It was really cool. Andy Dusk asks Adriana if she thinks that Julia has a chance in her singing career. Now, obviously, that's a dumb question. I We all know that Julia is not going to pursue a singing career. But Adriana's like, um, well, I think she's having fun. It's her hobby. I was just like, Adriana, just say yes. Just say yes and move on. Another thing Julia is asked about is if she felt like she was in the middle when, because now she was being becoming really good friends with Alexia, but she was also friends with Adriana. She says no, not really. She was able to balance that out. When Adriana is asked about this, she says that she thinks that this was a perfect example of the newcomer being recruited by Regina George and Gretchen. <laughs> that was a hilarious reference. Marisol keeps making these little side comments and little digs, so Adriana says have some class. Marisol and Alexia scream, you have no class. What are you talking about? Oh my gosh. Some did think that Alexia's friendship with Julia was like a PR stunt, but Alexia claims that it was genuine. Also, Martina is cancer free. So that means that her and Julia are going to go back into the adoption thing. So they're looking forward to that. Okay. Then it is time to talk about the trip to Mexico. They had some fun talking about the little funny parts that they had, like, and also a drama's performance, which was amazing. But then there was a lot of drama, so it's time to talk about that. They talk about Larsa and Alexia, because remember Larsa said that she felt undervalued. She feels like people don't give her credit for what she does, but it hurt her that Alexia threw shade at the tequila, saying that she's been working on it for two minutes. Gertie says, well, you know, you are product pushing Pippin. You're always pushing products. In this season, Larsa had made a comment where she said, I don't have a Todd. Remember that? So Alexia says that she was mad about it because Larsa did have a Scotty. But Larsa says, it's true. I don't have a Todd. I don't have a Russell. It was actually a compliment to y'all. And because she's happy that they have husbands. She says that she hasn't had one for six years. That's the difference. Okay, then it's time to talk about the iconic boat ride in Mexico, which will go down in history. So Lisa says that she does regret feeding the dogs. She uses the excuse that she had just signed a settlement agreement. I don't even see how that's related to her throwing food to some dogs. So then Kiki says, Lisa looks down on people like me. Because when everybody was telling her to stop, she didn't say anything. But when Kiki said something, that's when Lisa started screaming at her, cussing her, telling her to shut the F up. Kiki says Lisa doesn't respect her and makes her feel like she's not a part of this group. Lisa says, I've never said that. They also did mention how Lisa kept joking a lot, saying, well, don't throw a juice box at me again. I don't think it was like malicious that she was saying that. I just think she was being annoying. But she does apologize if that did hurt Kiki's feelings. As far as Lisa saying, I can't face her childhood trauma, that comment was horrendous lisa says her delivery was bad and but she does apologize for that as well so kiki and lisa agree that they can move on and even go out sometime get to really know each other so they're going to work on that so then it is time to wrap up adriana says that she's going to kick off her tour next year that's going to be exciting nicole is so happy for her daughter she says that she can't wait to dress her and look cute outfits lisa is looking forward to finishing her divorce Larsa is happy with Marcus and says that she's living her best life and so are her children. Marisol says she's happy with her third marriage. Kiki is happy that everybody is getting to know her in a more personal level. Julia is happy that she took chances and new friendships. She solidified old ones. She got a lot of doubts answered, although she still doesn't think Larsa's butt is real. She says that. So Larsa jumps in and says, well, I don't understand your relationship with Martina because you like black penises. What? 
Alexia then says that, you know, she tried to bring the group together. She says the circumstances happen. But right now, the only person she actually wants to fix things moving forward is with Nicole. But Larsa just can't let it go. She says, let us see your growth, Alexia. You owe us an apology for saying that we are liars. Alexia says, I'm not going to apologize. It took you three months to apologize to Gertie. You think that I'm going to apologize to you? I, por favor. Then Alexia starts to name who the liars of the group are. She says that the biggest liar is definitely Adriana, followed by Nicole, followed by Larsa. And she even throws Marichal in there because she doesn't remember. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. But finally, Gertie gets the last word. She says that she definitely learned perspective and having empathy are very important. Larsa does get up and gives Gertie a hug and apologizes. I think Gertie appreciated that. Adriana, who happened to have a Bible with her. So this woman had a poem, a rose, and a Bible. Wow. So she reads a class steals. 320 about we come from dust and we go back to dust by the way i'm sorry if i didn't pronounce that book of the bible correct i only know the bible in spanish which is ecclesiastes but then they end this with a tequila shot it's large tequila which they drink but wait julius duet partner for the opera pops up and he starts singing the ave maria <laughs> what what was this but wait there's more julia pulls out a mic from the couch and starts singing as well only in miami would this happen but then it becomes like an ave maria disco edition because it, it has like a, a beat to it so then they all get up they start dancing and that's a wrap for season six of The Real Housewives of Miami. Everybody says goodbye, and the director says cut, and that is it. But wait, Marisol starts to pick a fight with Alexia because she's mad that Alexia, when she was going down the list of liars, she said that Marisol didn't remember. Marisol was like, why would you do that? And Alexia's like, because you do forget. I, 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 that was crazy, but that was the end, you guys. Let me just say... Esta fue una temporada muy buena de Miami, una de mis housewives favoritas, okay? I definitely love this season of Miami, guys. It, it, season 6 was amazing. It's it's a shame that um, if you look at the viewership of Beverly Hills compared to Miami, and I'm, the, the reason why it's important is because Bravo decided to air them on the same night, which was Wednesday nights, and which I think that was a huge disservice to Miami, but it, it's crazy the amount of people that turn their tv offs or change the channel when beverly hills ended to miami starting so listen they're missing out but miami is definitely one of the best housewife shows and i can't wait for next season uh, the th these ladies bring it there was not a single episode this season that was either a filler or that it was boring every single se episode they bring it they are the real life housewife telenovela edition so that was a wrap uh, personally i want to see all of them coming back all of them every single one and i said this last week but the the fact that all three of the friends of were on the reunion the entire time from start to finish tells you how important and valuable every single one of these women are on the show they really do bring it there also i can't wait you guys let me know what did you like about this reunion did you enjoy season six as much as I did? What was your favorite moment of the season? And what do you think about next season? Who should come back? Should it should it be all? Should there be some changes? Let me know. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all next time. You have a great one. Bye.